Welcome back to The Bearded Builder. Today I'm going to show you how to cut out a circle using a bandsaw and a homemade circle jig. Alright, first thing you need to do is figure out what size circle you want. Alright, once you've determined the size of circle you want, you don't have to trace out a circle on your board. I've just got a piece of scrap here that I'm going to use. For the project I'm going to be using this for, I'm going to need a 14 inch circle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a 14 inch by 14 inch square at the table saw. Okay, so I'm at my table saw. There's a few things that we need to talk about first. Eye protection, hearing protection, and even though I use a dust collector, I also have an air filtration system set up on the ceiling. So I'm going to turn that on, turn the dust collector on, set up for my rips, and then we'll get this blank cut out. got our blank cut out, what we've got to do is find the center. So I just take whatever scrap I've got lying around. The easiest way to find the center of a square is you draw a line from point to point or corner to corner, however you want to look at it. Now I have my center. What we're going to need to do now, since I'm using this as the bottom of the project, I can drill a hole in the bottom and not worry about it. Okay, so we got our center marked out, and I need to draw, drill a hole for a pivot point. What I like using is just a quarter inch dowel. You can find these in your big box store, home improvement store. It's quarter inch, so you got to find yourself a quarter inch drill bit. And drill a hole. But be careful you don't drill all the way through your, your work piece. Half, or a little bit more than half, is all you need. A quarter inch dowel. Fits tight, but still spins. So you got this little thing, and it spins nicely. Now we have our blank ready to be cut out. But what we kind of do next is okay. So now that this spins, come over to the bandsaw. And you'll see that well, there's nothing for it to spin on. This is too narrow to cut this size of a circle. So what we've got to do is make a jig for that. So all I do is I grab a scrap of whatever I have got. It just happens that I've already cut a circle out with this piece. But come over to the bandsaw. I cut a slot for it to sit in. Pull it down. With that, grab some clamps for the other side of it. Now there are many ways to make this jig. This is just how I like to make it. There are more fancy ones that actually bolt to the, the surface of the table here. But this is easy, simple, and I haven't had to drill into the deck of my or the table of my pencil. And as you can see now, we have this wide range of circles that we can cut. In fact, 
we could cut a six foot circle using this jig. The only thing you'd have to do is get a support to hold the piece right there in the middle. Now here, quarter inch down, and I've drilled a hole that is seven inches away from the blade. I drilled seven inch, a hole seven inches away from the blade because I'm drilling, or I'm cutting out a 14 inch circle. So let's get cutting. Okay, again, you're gonna make protection, I have protection. It's a must. Okay, so we got a blank, we got our dowel. All we gotta do now is drop it off. And it'll be right on the edge of that blade, which is perfect. So let's cut out this circle. Okay, so what happened there is I was going a little too fast and it pushed the blade and sometimes that stuff happens. So all I've got to do now, reset the blade and then we'll finish cutting out our teardrop. Okay, I put the blade back on. I'm not going to edit that out because, well, stuff like that happens in a shop. Especially when you're doing stuff like this. Anyway. Time to finish cutting this circle. Now I've shown you how to do a simple jig for your bandsaw for cutting out a circle. Next time, I'm going to show you how to edge band this because I used a veneer plywood for a veneer with an MDF core. Well, the MDF doesn't look like wood, but I, for my project, I needed to. So stay tuned. And next time I'll show you how to edge band the strip.